everybody and welcome to this edition of Solly TV and we are going to talk about the importance of strategic partnerships. So Salmon Productions has been fortunate enough to partner with EPNAC, uh, Event Photography of North America. They provide amazing photography for so many different events within the meetings and trade shows industry as well as outside of the industry as well. So we felt like that was such a solid partnership since we provide video production services not only for the event space but for businesses in general. So now we have this solid partnership to where it's a full-fledged package of digital marketing, um, digital media that we can provide to our clients. The reason why our partnership with EPNAC works so well is because we just, it, it meshed from the start. So here's what's really important when trying to find a strategic partner to collaborate with and offer your clients top of the line services. One, it's important to make sure that that partnership has the same company culture, the same vision, the same goals as your business. So obviously you wanna make sure that that company that you're considering partnering with has the same sort of vision and mission statement and that their team also sticks to that mission because as you merge together, now you're building sort of a unit, a united brand. And brand is so important because that's what your clients hire you for. You have a good reputation, you have a solid brand, and they trust that the work that you're providing is, is good. From there, it's important to have a partnership agreement. Now, I know a lot of people think, oh, well, once we get into the paperwork stuff and contracts and this and that, it can get a little muddy. But it's so important to have that in place even if it's somebody that you've been friends with for years. I have a lot of friends that want to do business with one another and they're like, oh, you know, this person will never screw me over. I have known them and have been friends with them for years and years, but it doesn't matter. If that person really cares about you and your well-being, having an agreement in place, will be, they'll be all for that because again, it just it's a way to solidify your partnership on paper. So if anything does happen, you're covered on both ends. So that's step number two. Step number three, in my opinion, is communication. So again, just like a, a good marriage, just like a good friendship, a good business partnership happens with communication. Checking in with each other, making sure that, you know, if, if you did a job for your partner's clients, making sure that their clients are happy, making sure that you establish a, an open communication line to where if there is something, a challenge within the work that you've done for a client, that it's being addressed in the best way possible. It's important to establish that line of communication right off the bat because again, then you're building a strong, trusting relationship that will eventually lead to more success. The most important part about your partnership is thinking about your clients first. So again, it goes back to sort of step one where I talked about you know the importance of company culture and having similar visions and mission statements and that your company cultures align with one another. Well, it's all about your clients, right? Those are the people that are paying your bills. So you wanna make sure that you're thinking about your clients first meaning that their needs are met. So I hope this episode has been helpful for you. Uh, if you are in the process of thinking about finding a partner in business, do it. I highly recommend it. It's done nothing but added more success to our business and I hope FNAC would say the same. And it's all about growth and you can't grow unless you really collaborate and partner with others that can bring new ideas to the table. Anyway, that does it for us on this edition of Solly TV. We'll see you next time.